welcome, Christel van den Houten. It's um, a pleasure for us here at ACI to have you for another episode of our airport, uh, the interview. I am very pleased to have you to talk about sustainability issues because you are an expert in this field like no other. You are Brussels Airport's very own Head of Sustainable Development and you're also our Vice Chair of uh, ACI Europe's Environmental Strategy Committee. Can we hear your personal uh, definition of the word sustainability? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank you for uh, inviting me for this interview. I feel really very honored. Um, uh, well, to uh, respond on your first question, what's uh, sustainability to me? Um, well, to me, sustainability is uh, being aware of the impact you have on others, uh, on your environment, uh, on the climate and that on the long term. Um, and it's crucial uh, that we minimize that negative uh, impact and that we care for people and planet. So the current and the future generations uh, deserve a pleasant uh, living environment in which they can develop and they feel, can feel safe. Uh, this is why I'm personally and professionally engaged to invest in long-term relationships and to create innovation solutions uh, to climate change. You have been um, at the head of uh, sustainability at Brussels Airport uh, for quite some years now. And you have been also the person that uh, worked very hard on the development of the strategy, strategy for sustainable development of Brussels Airport. Um, so could you maybe walk us through a little bit um, how the process looked like and uh, also what are the key characteristics of the strategy? It was a clear choice of Brussels Airport Company to be a front runner, a front runner in sustainability and not only because we have to but uh, all the more because we want to and we want to develop our activities with respect for the world we operate in. Um, if aviation wants to stay relevant in the future, or wants to have a future even, uh, it needs to be a sustainable one. Uh, we want to be the best in class, that's uh, our ambition. Uh, related to the key characteristics of our sustainable development strategy, um, our strategy completely revolves around care. It's care for the planet, it's care for people, and this in combination with creating welfare and uh, well-being. Um, our care for our surroundings and the climate is built around different pillars, uh, namely uh, the decarbonization um, of our uh, own activities and support or supporting our partners uh, in doing so uh, themselves improving uh, the local environmental quality, uh, stimulating uh, the modal split with a decrease of emissions, noise and also congestion, contributing to the circular economy and caring for people. So uh, creates welfare and well-being is uh, equally important. Uh, we support the economic health of our society and of our partners and the well-being of our empl employees and our neighbors. Perhaps if you could tell us uh, if you see any evolution in the way that uh, Brussels Airport addresses uh, sustainability. Well, uh, I've seen a, a very clear shift. Um, the initial attitude was quite environmental, compliance driven. Uh, whereas in recent years we evolved towards a strategic approach in which sustainability has become self-evident. Uh, um, this was the first time that we uh, enlarged our scope towards the care for people and our partners. Um, the recent COVID-19 crisis, and we are still in it, uh, ac accelerated this intrinsic uh, wish to do things differently. And another thing that has changed considerable is the focus on innovation. Uh, before, we based ourselves on proven technology. Nowadays, it's clear that we need to collaborate and innovate in order uh, to make and to have a bigger impact uh, in what we are doing. Mm -hmm. That sounds really like a clear evolution also towards um, future-facing things like innovation, for instance. It's, Absolutely. It's not Absolutely. really only about curb, curbing certain things or reducing, but it's also about thinking how we can uh, future-proof, right? Absolutely. If we keep doing the things as we have always done, we won't make the change that is necessary. Mm.
No, this is very strong. How your sustainability work can influence, let's say, everything that is happening around the airport? Well, there are different aspects. First of all, um, we as Brussels Airport are the second economic engine of Belgium. Uh, so we obviously have a major impact on our surroundings, uh, both positive and negative. And in the first place, Brussels Airport creates a considerable amount of direct and indirect jobs. Um, so that's already important. Then, uh, seeing the nature of our activities, inevitably we impact our surroundings, for example, in terms of uh, noise and uh, mobility. And that's why we see it as our responsibility to continue minimizing that impact and improve the living quality of the surroundings. And then, in order to do so, uh, we value a strong uh, dialogue and cooperation uh, with our neighbors. Uh, this is the case for both small and big projects. Um, since we are going to air this interview on the International Women's Day, and I wanted to ask you uh, whether uh, there are any initiatives put uh, forward by Brussels Airport to, for instance, um, increase the diversity uh, and um, make aviation a bit more inclusive, because we are still considered to be an industry that is primarily male. Well, within Brussels Airport Company and also within our strategy, uh, um, diversification and inclusion are uh, very important. But we know uh, there is a long way ahead of us. Um, that's clear. Uh, nonetheless, this awareness is uh, the most valuable starting point uh, for change. Uh, it begins there, <laughs> that you are aware of uh, where you are and the path that is uh, that you still need to walk. Um, so I'm glad to see that our organization has the ambition to look in the mirror and engage in dialogue on how we can improve ourselves uh, to become more inclusive. Uh, so we are building an organization in which everyone feels com comfortable and has a changed, uh, the chance to develop. So this is the way we invest heavily in continuous training. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Yeah. I mean, it's very important, and I do hope that this trend uh, will continue growing and that it will snowball uh, to other parts of the industry. Um, you have a re leading role uh, in our task force specifically related to climate change, but you have been also a contributor, a very active contributor to uh, the process of developing our very own sustainability strategy for airports. So I wanted to ask you, how, uh, how did you perceive the process? Uh, was it interesting for you as well, you know, professionally? Um, and did it have an impact on your uh, work also at the airport? So if you could tell us a little bit more about that. Well, first of all, uh, let me say that, that I was really honored and felt privileged uh, to be able to contribute uh, to this great initiative. Um, for me, the added value of this project was the complementarity of the six experts involved. Uh, so some of them were quite KPI driven and ready to act. Uh, others like we in Brussels Airport Company uh, depart from the bigger picture um, and identify what is needed to complete the journey uh, from strategy to vision, objectives, actions, human and financial resources that are needed and communication. Mm -hmm. So the complementarity results in a very comprehensive strategy that covers um, every aspect that is needed. Uh, and this marks, uh, marks uh, the strengths of both the process and uh, the results. Um, how could it uh, guide and inform uh, the sustainability work of uh, smaller airports, maybe regional airports, um, not such big players, for instance, like Brussels Airport, but uh, some that, uh, that wish to start their journey towards more sustainable operations? Well, uh, what I find particularly valuable um, is the fact that the strategy becomes very concrete thanks to the self-assessment tool. That's a really powerful means uh, to, uh, to use as airports uh, because it can determine where you are, at which level you are, and what the prior priorities are, uh, or even um, they need, uh, if we need to adjust our, our ambitions, for example. 
besides the document is a value guideline providing a framework for the self-assessment, but at the same time also explaining how airports can start with their uh, materiality analysis. And also there's a wide range of useful KPIs that can be chosen uh, or, uh, or developed. Uh, and we also valued uh, the link with the GRI and so the Global Responsible Initiative and the uh, SDGs as uh, support uh, for airports to frame their uh, strategy and also their communication. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, especially the self-assessment tool is, I think, something that um, we would like to see more airports using it. And uh, yeah, we also uh, think that it's a very strong tool. So I'm pretty sure we're going to link it up uh, in this interview. Uh, out of all the plethora of great initiatives at Brussels airports, which projects are you the most proud of? More in general, uh, what motivates me the most is the evolution of the Sustainable Development uh, Department from being perceived as kind of um, annoying uh, <laughs> towards a more uh, matter of course. And I'm extremely proud uh, of the teamwork uh, that uh, evoked this mental shift, because it's really a mental shift. It's intrinsic. Um, and on a personal level, I'm very proud on the projects um, uh, in which I had a leading role uh, when I started uh, at the airport. Um, to build and operate uh, our own wastewater treatment uh, plant. It's really a little bit my baby, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was facing a lot of resistance in the beginning, but uh, eventually the installation has been successfully uh, operational over more than 10, 10 years now, and including uh, a qualitatively and also a visible uh, improvement uh, to the immediate surroundings. Mm -hmm. You mean like um, that the wastewater that you're processing in the plant, um, it's, it's somehow like uh, barring the pollution from surroundings? Yes. Yeah? The, the water in the neighboring community is, uh, is clear again. That must be great to see something like this yes. so tangible. And it's very tangible. <laughs> yes. Indeed, indeed. yes. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much for sharing this um, and in general for, you know, like all the perspectives that you shared with us. How do you see from your uh, from your perspective the sustainable airport of the future or in general, just how do you see our our industry heading towards more sustainability? The, the final goal to me would be to obviate uh, the need of sustainable development because it's simply incorporated, really embedded uh, in every level of the organization. And I, I always say, and they often have to laugh about it, but I mean it, I always say that my mission will only be successful and our goal will be reached when I've made myself superfluous. <laughs> and I really mean it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's quite an approach. But I mean, it makes it makes sense for sustainability to be part of every single um, every single operational unit within any organization and uh, airports as well. Yeah, it can't be just the sustainable development department. It's something that needs to be embedded in every service department of the organization. And, and then we reached our final goals. At least that's the way I see it. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. And um, fingers crossed for uh, Net Zero Brussels Airport in the future. <laughs> uh, we're working on it. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for inviting me for this interview.